When you think about RVing Baja, Mexico, what do you think of? For us, one of the top, if not the top, things to do is camping on the beach. Well, to get to the vision of those beaches, we've been traveling farther and farther south in Baja, Mexico to get away from the wind and away from the cold. Now, last week, we highlighted what it's really like to RV the roads in Baja. Careful over here on this storm, it drops right off. Look at these dents and all these rails. Did you feel your air stream come off the road back there? No, I didn't. You but this week, it's all about some of the payoff of driving on those roads, making it to those epic camping spots on the beach in Baja. And of course, we've got some adventure built in. JJ, there's a whale right there, dude. There's <laughs> JJ, <a> there's... <laughs> but first, a location that's not technically on the beach, but we want to show this to you because this is a really cool place that you can stay overnight. What's up, fellow journeyers? So this is our first, uh, almost feels like authentic right? Mexico experience, like in a town. This is cool. So now apparently, Marissa said you can boondock, can you boondock right here? Uh, our neighbor in San Felipe said, hey, in San Ignacio, you can boondock on the square, so. This definitely I mean, looks look like a this. square. That's so cool. <laughs> look at this church. Wow. That is at least 50 years old. <laughs> At no, least. we're gonna find out. We think 1700s, I think, but this is, uh, yeah, look at everything just built up out oh, here. This is so, so cute. awesome. This is awesome. This is adorable. Seventeen eighty six. They think it was completed, and they still do services here on Sunday. It's an angel person. Yes, an angel. Two hundred fifty years old. It's amazing. I mean, literally, this is Mexico, right? No, she. You can just walk up these stairs. You can go grab that rope right now and ring the bell if you want to. <laughs> Like, oh my lord. Yeah, you can Don't do. Tell our kids. So untouched and so unregulated, which is good and bad in some ways, but <laughs> definitely different. Okay, what's that? What's that? Puppy. Puppy. Kinsley, um, did you do your own makeup today? All right. Audrey, what do you got going on here? My glasses. You always want to be hanging around with smart friends. You never know when you really need them. <laughs> so they make that with coffee? Yeah, yeah. coffee beans. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you're in a hole? Just keep saying 140 square feet, 140 square feet. Oh, that one's really cute. Would cool. it fit me? Mm. Ooh, pretty. Hensley, what'd you get there, girl? Oh, look at her straight. Oh my goodness. I got a purse too. Wow. Matching purses. Nice. I'm well <laughs> You enjoying the view? I just, how cute is this? That you can sit outside on the square with this old church behind you. It's super cute. I love this. That's our 374, Marissa. SRL. They're waving. They're seeing all of us stare. I feel like we need this. Look what Marissa found. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the fact that our whole house goes with us. We pulled back into this amazing oasis to, to re-park after driving into town. I told Nathan I had this split second of our RV's gone. Just not used to having our home everywhere we go with us. And there are a lot of noises. I do not know what they are. <laughs> I swear there's monkeys across this river over here. We've looked up, are there monkeys? <laughs> Are there crocodiles? It like feels like a hippo is about to come out of this water. I knew, I did know that probably wasn't true, but it does. Listen at that. This is a hidden gem. What is it? It's a whale. A whale. I love the way you say that. 
Let's look at the whale. So there are a few areas in Baja that you can you can come into the bays and pet the great whales. There's Guero Negro, there's San Ignacio, and this is San Ignacio. So we made the trek down a bumpy road to get here. What they love about this is the gray whales will come in in January and have their babies. So this is kind of like a little lagoon here. And you can tell it's by all these salt flats. And they love these bays because they're super salty. Because baby whales can't swim so the salt makes them buoyant where they can learn to swim and then the moms love bringing their babies up to the boat to to get acquainted and be pet so it's just like a really special and rare moment and we're finally here so excited you have no idea so we got our briefing he said we're going on a human watching tour because these whales are curious about us yeah yeah that looks you better roll up your pants, girl. <laughs> I don't have pants. Was like this boat right here? He's like, no, no, no. no the one in the like, water. That one's in the water. Bad day to wear pants, buddy. <laughs> oh, this feels good. The though. thing is, I can never get this boy in pants ever. And the one day I got him in pants because I thought it would be windy and chilly. Get here. We took about a 15 minute ride out and then we're in this protected area uh, for the whales for about an hour and a half and then a 15 minute ride back. So about two hours the whole thing. But we've got an hour and a half. We're hoping we're going to get to see one of these whales get close to this boat. Oh, right there. There it is. Wow. It's kind of up to them, but we can still hope. Marissa's really hoping. Said there's like 196 whales out here right now. They're everywhere. <laughs> when you think about this logically, there's like a massive animal going under this boat that I guess could come up at the wrong time or something. I don't know. Oh, they could, it could <laughs> like, capsize us. Well, I mean, you're just thinking like this thing's way bigger than this boat. <laughs> They said if you sing, they're, they're, they might come up and vote. <laughs> they're singing. Let me hear you sing, Marissa. I don't hear you singing. Oh, where'd they go? Baby one what? The splash. Did it splash? Yeah, I bet they do splash. It's over here. It's somewhere, JJ. There it is. There's the baby. 
Oh, there's the mama. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where's the mama then? Yeah. Our two kids are just eating. <laughs> oh! JJ, there's a whale right there, dude. JJ. <laughs> JJ. <There's... laughs> right <here. laughs> <Got this. laughs> he is so focused on that bar. They were curious, but I think I think just the waves were a little much, and I think it made them a little skittish to come um, even closer to the boat. I'm a little bummed that the weather didn't cooperate as well as we would have liked, but it was still an epic experience. We'll be back for, for another round someday. our outdoor coffee making area. It's just so loud to do anything inside while the kids are still sleeping. JJ slept until like nine yesterday, so when we get up at six, 6.30, that's a long time to sit and be quiet. <laughs> so we wanna get outside, we wanna get the warm weather. But yeah, this is like a single serve coffee maker. This thing has been epic so far. It's a Black & Decker, it's super light, super small. It fits in our cabinet if I need to. And I just plug it in out here, make our coffee every morning. Usually our chair's sitting over here, but we've got over here today. Let's go see if this is still on. Is the photo shoot still on? I don't know yet. I'm waiting on Lindsay. No swimsuits? Uh, Where's the swimsuits? You're filming her. You do this. You, I, I, I can't see you her. Stick, I can't see her. We'll blur it out. You cameras in I've our got, face. No, at, I'll blur it out. Six o'clock. <laughs> I'll blur <laughs> Once you're past 30, you're almost 40. <laughs> All right, you're 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not cool. That's different. <laughs> I'm blurring you out with my broken pinky and my... <laughs> That's the worst. I've got the ugliest pinky ever, and I've got the ugliest feet ever, by the way. Um, they want it. <laughs> I was super embarrassed when I was uh, in our youth group in high school. We did a game where you stood behind this curtain, and everybody had their feet, and you had to see if you could identify people by their feet. Yeah, oh, my I know. goodness, because I know what your feet look like. <laughs> I, I did not want to play the game. <laughs> I played. It was, it was really funny for everybody else. No swimsuits? No, nah, you can't do puffer Instagram. Why not? It's swimsuit or nothing. Why can't you do... Because you got to put a swimsuit on, pretend like it's nice and warm here in Baja. <laughs> do it for the gram. Stop. You kill the mood when you do that. That's exactly what's going on. That's not true. We said this morning we wanted to paddleboard at sunset. You said this morning you want to put on your bathing suits and paddleboard in 45 degree weather with wind going 20 miles an hour. Oh, the puffer jack's a giveaway, huh? <laughs> do it because you feel like it. Lindsay's going. Look at her go. She's trying to keep that blood flowing. No reservations, got this chance, might as well take it, oh, let's go. We're having an instant debate over here. You still got the tie-dye thing going on. I don't know how you both woke up a tie-dye on, what the odds are. It's Urban Candle. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Shake it, girl. Shake it. There you go. Probably the prettiest paddle I've ever done. Even if it could <laughs> potentially be on shore water. Full <laughs> of gators, we don't know. We don't know what's in that water. I'm guessing it's fine. You're paddling into the sunrise that's all pink with these birds and a mountain surrounded by all these trees. I mean, I've done a lot of paddles and that is, uh, I think that's my favorite. Every day, our own adventure, you and me. 
One perfect picture, I'm all good As long as I'm with you, oh, let's go <laughs> oh, I feel like we finally have made it. Well, this is apparently where all the RVs are at. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've seen RVs, but there are a good, goodness, 50 plus. Now they go all the way around. I mean, there's 50 to 100 RVs out here parked in this place. It is epic. This is called Playa Santa Spec. Everything from truck campers up to 40 plus foot motorhomes all out here i mean unless it's like a monsoon or something i'm assuming no issues with any rv getting into this all right girl we're here it feels so good <laughs> this this is the vision right this is the vision finally made it feels so good here we actually can take our puffer jackets off it's been abnormally cold so it's so nice to get sun and this incredible view that i've been waiting for Look it's been that. a long haul wow that is awesome oh my goodness 10 bucks a night so <laughs> that's what i was saying that was they've got like restaurants and amenities yeah. and everything going on here go further south yeah now this i know why people are like we're just heading down south i mean we've seen some beautiful stuff and i wouldn't bypass it it's part of the adventure but I can see why people are like, I'm getting south because this is beautiful. I love that. You love it? Yeah. I think this is a reminder of, it's one of those moments of why we do the RV lifestyle and why we love it so much. There's a lot of sacrifice. I don't want to make this life seem like it's a day at the beach <laughs> because this, this lifestyle gets tough. I just spent an hour in the grocery store where nothing was in English. It was not the same food that I'm used to, trying to figure out meals. What will we eat? What will my kids eat? And there's like money barrier, language barrier, not the, not the things we're used to. And it got really overwhelming. It got, it got stressful um, because when you're not living the RV life, you know where everything is. You know where the food is. You know where your grocery store, you get the same things, but this is our reward. <laughs> yeah, there's different levels of setting up for sure. <laughs> Van wins, pulled straight in. Nathan, you're second. You did a little leveling. Stewart's working on his solar up there. Does that count as setup? He's low. <laughs> Are you putting your toes in the sand? Hey. It's like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? We took you to the beach. Here. Why are y'all playing in there when you have this? <laughs> That's just... <laughs> this is typical boys, right? So between eight and nine, the dolphins come out. There, they're there. See the dolphins, buddy? Is there a way to, do you have a way to test amps coming back to a plug? Is there a way to do that? Well, amp, amps is, uh... They're literally going, ooh, every time he pulls another one out of the pan. <laughs> So apparently the blankets, we've already bought two of these so far. The blankets we bought are not as pretty as these that are in the back of this van, so. The van coming, we might stay at the top and wait. Okay. So we just left Playa Santa Spec, and we are making our way into Requa, what is this called, Marissa? Put it on the screen. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but we have seen so many places to stay. 
along the road that looked epic. Use the app I Overlander, and it just shows you all the beach. Hey, so that van was diesel. Was it diesel? Was that a Dur the Duramax GMC? Yeah. She built that Old thing government up. Van. That's awesome. So yeah, your options are way more open the smaller you are. I don't think you have that same amount of fear going out down into a quote campground 40 feet versus like 22, 24 in a van. But as far as like a fear of not having four wheel drive, I haven't seen anything yet where that fear is valid. Um, long rig, yes. You gotta kind of watch which one you're picking out, but there's lots of options. We're all heading down to this one. We feel pretty confident we can all fit here. It's a total side note, but look at Mexico's money. Isn't that beautiful? Canada has pretty money too. I know we've been in Canada. Mm -hmm. just, it's got like whales on it. Yeah, they're all so different. We just, we stick See dead presidents on it and move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, did they do uh, today's? Did yeah. they do three? Okay. Yeah. Check this out. Four by four. What was that from S Switzerland? Wow. And the doors open on the back. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. It's just kind of hit or miss because it's almost like you just show up and if there's room, there's room. Some of them look full. Sometimes you get a palapa. Sometimes you have to park off to the side. So there isn't really advanced reservations on these beaches. It's kind of like just show up, pick the one you like, try out a new beach, move to the next one. Um, stay for weeks, stay for a night. So you've got like ocean views on both sides, amazing kayaking and paddle boarding. This spot is probably by far our favorite right now. This is incredibly beautiful. So which Baja camping spot is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Honestly, if you can camp for 10 bucks a night or less for any beach with views like this, totally a win in our book. Well, that is our journey for this week. Until next week, we'll catch you guys later.